everybody. My name is Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. So I am, this is the last card. If you've been following my series of cards that we did at my in-person stamp camp in April. So I still do one in-person event every month. So I do a, a camp. I've been doing them for about 25 years. So have only missed a couple of months in all of my 25 years, maybe one when we were in Australia for an extended amount of time. And I think just one during COVID. Um, so uh, I would do them every month. So if you're in the Indianapolis area and you're in, interested in getting information on that, then you're always welcome to email me. So I will just let you know a couple of things before we get going on this card. You can go back and refer to all of them. But this catalog is starting on May 3rd. So next week, if you're watching this about the time it posted, I will be having extra specials. I'll be having lots of videos with the new things that I get. I have two classes, the Try It class that's almost full, and then the Hues of Happiness online class that just opened for registration. And that is this bundle here. So both of those are open. The Try It class is almost full. Um, but it's been open for a bit. It's, if it doesn't fill, it will close on May 2nd, but I expect it will fill before that. So if you're interested in it, all that information is on my website or on my email list. And you can go to my website and sign up to be on my email list. And that's always the best way to get inf information. If you need this catalog, I'm happy to send you one at no charge. If you're in the U.S., just let me know. So there's that. And then I'm going to be using the Cactus Cuties which is a punch set. So we did two punch sets at camp this month. The other one, the video is already up for it. And I posted it, it was the first camp card I did. So there's this one and it's the Let's Sail Away bundle. So I wanted to point that out to you because uh, we use the punches in two different ways. So this one, I mounted the stamps on the block so we stamped them with, inked them up with a marker and then stamped them on the paper and then punched them. So we're not going to do that with this one. This time we are going to punch the images out and then we're going to stamp them once they're already punched. So it's two different ways that you can use our punches with the coordinating stamps. So I wanted you, because I know some of you are going to comment and you're going to tell me that I can do it this way. And I do know, but there's a reason I did it this way on that one. One is just to remind everybody that there's a couple of different ways. You can also use the Stamparatus, which was the first way that I did this one before I did it for camp. And then I thought, oh, it'll be faster for camp to just do it like this. So there are multiple ways that you can use them. But this video is up. I'm going to use the Cactus Cuties. And then I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I cannot find my original card that we used at camp. It got wet. So it's also smeared, but I wanted to show it to you because I'm going to switch something. If I find it, I will post the picture of it on my website because I'm going to switch the embellishment. Because I have, I did use one sneak peek thing and we're going to use it again on this, but I'm going to use two sneak peek things on this one. So very minimal supplies. I have some old olive card base for the base. And then this is a quarter sheet. Exactly. Um, so five and a half by four and a quarter of basic white. And then this is our little sneak peek here. It's one of our new frame sets in the upcoming catalog. And I've used a couple of them. I used this one on the bird and it punches out a frame and an inside. And then this one does a frame and an inside. I used the oval on one. Mm. I don't remember what card that one was on, but I did use that. Now there's a little secret when you use this one or any of the ones that can be a speed bump. Just send them through your cut emboss caddy corner. So I was tempted when I did this one to maybe do like color the frame or blending brush the frame, but I kind of wanted to keep it simple. Cause you know, the cactuses and succulents, it's all very trendy and very in. Well, look how much fun these are. So this is just scrap. And then here's your frame. And then here's your inside. So that's going to be the rest of our card. So just a half a sheet of olive and a quarter sheet of white. And then the piece that we're going to punch our cactuses out of our little cactus cuties. So let me just punch these out of here. 
like this. Oops, <laughs> I tried to do that so they won't fly everywhere. Did I get them all? Yeah, there's four pieces, so they've all punched out of there. And then I'm going to use a little piece of that in a second to stamp my words on. So I am going to need a piece of scrap paper because we're going to do some stamping off. And then hopefully I remember how I made this since I don't have my um, card here. So all of our pots are going to be in Cajun trays. So I'm going to start with pots first. And then this is a pot. It can also be a cactus because this is, has some like double images. So I'm going to stamp a pot. And Cajun craze here. And all of the stamps that stamp onto these punches are bigger. See what I mean? So they're very easy to do for this one. Sometimes the stamps are just the right size and sometimes they're a little smaller. And then I'm going to make like a series, like a shelf of stamps over here. But I want the ones that are going to be on this paper to be a little bit lighter. So they're not fighting for. So the one that's going to be popped up is going to be the focal. Let's get my other pot. This card's super fast. You see a theme when I do camp. They're not all super fast, and often I have one that we color. This time there was no coloring one. So there's our pots. So that's all we need for Cajun Craze. Now let's go to our actual cactuses, and that will, of course, be olive. So we'll start with the one that we know is on the punch, and that's this shape, but it could also be a pot. See how this one right here? You could do this one on here, and that could be a pot. You can kind of kind of mix and match. So this will be our cactus. Just pop this on here. I did have my take my pick tool sitting here so I didn't have to pull those off with my hands. And then I was rearranging my stuff to get ready to film and I thought I don't know need my take my pick tool because this die isn't going to get stuck so I moved it back. But I did use it for that. But let's stamp off. And then this one, I want to go on the one that's a little bit lower because this goes almost to the top. So I've got that. And then this one here is more of a succulent than a cactus and obviously doesn't go in the punch. Stamp off. My sailboat. One had a lot of punches as well. I mean, a lot of stamping off as well. Got those. And then there's this like second kind of cactus. You know how they all grow kind of funky. But it's full strength. And again, we have to peel it off with my fingers. This is the last thing I'm stamping today. And then I'm gonna just add this over here. Uh, no, I'm not. I thought about it, I'm not going to. Then we have this I'm going to add here. I'll put it on this one to make it go a little bit higher. And then we have the words. I'm going to switch to polished pink, which is the current in color. And it's one that is current. So it has one more year left on it. We've had it for a year. Our in colors stay for two years. So we have an incoming set. And then this is the one that's staying. And it will go out next year. And we have this little, one last little punch here. And do it in polished pink. Those little flowers that you get on your cactuses. So I've got that one that'll be a little bit brighter. And this one will stamp off and I'll put it just there. Now let's move all this stuff and stick it together. So for this, I'm going to take some white thread from our basic essentials, which comes in like black, two, 
two sandy tones, like a crumb cake and a sandy, and then the black and the white. Oh, come on, I'm pulling the wrong side. So I'm just gonna fold it over so it now it's four times, and that is not my frame, that's the die. I'm just gonna tie it around the corner. Just a knot, so for those of you that don't like to tie bows, this is right up your alley. And you wanna make sure that you don't squish the frame because it's just paper. So a nice sturdy knot that's not pulled tight. You can pull it tight on the second one. And then let's just snip this. Don't want it to be super big. That was the end of my spool, as you could see. It's a little bit extra, but there wasn't gonna be enough left of that to do anything with. It's not like a little bit of ribbon where you can kind of make a frame of it out of it. So I'm just gonna put some adhesive around the edge. I'm just doing it right here in the middle because obviously that's where my frame's gonna go back. So if it over goes into the middle, that's okay. And be careful when you lay this down that the frame goes straight because see it's, it would be really easy to have it be crooked especially because I tied that ribbon on it so just lay it down gently and then once it's on kind of press it then this I want it to be raised up so let's grab some dimensionals put four on here or you can use the edges of your minis where it's kind of more of a strip. Lift this up. Pull this right here. Not quite enough under there on those corners. But now that it's all stuck, it's a little bit easier to place that frame down. Because it's very easy to get it crooked. But once it has a little bit of a stick to it, it's easier to work with. Now I want this to also be raised up. Because you know, if you, I have a succulent shelf right here in my studio. And they're not all even. Sometimes they might start out that way. But you know, all it takes is one good watering and then they're all crooked again. These on here. And obviously with this one, you can kind of, you could stamp on the back. You could add more of these to make these cactuses. You could use this one cactus several times and kind of get it to grow. Just kind of build this one so it does the best for where you need it to kind of fill in that empty space. So I'm just gonna add right here so it doesn't need to be popped up. And then I have my words, so I'm gonna just hand trim these out. So stick this one here. Stick this one down here. You know what I'm gonna do? I don't remember where it was on my other one. I'm pretty sure it was on one piece. I'm gonna do it like this. So I don't wanna really cover up that cute little pot. So then on my other, my first one, I used the loose flowers, which are in the current annual catalog and they do carry over. So I had two of the polished pink and then one of the purple. And I just glued those on with the fine tip glue. But on this one, I'm going to use our new in color opal rounds because this is also polished pink. And it's gonna be super cute on here. And these are nice because anywhere that maybe something, like see where this didn't, where it kind of looks yucky, where they overlapped, you can just cover that right up. So over here, where this is kind of overlapping, stick one there. And then we'll stick another one right here. Uh, yeah, right there. Just kind of add some sparkle to it. 
super quick, super easy. If you have to give a card to a 20 year old girl, this could not be any more on trend. So super fun, really easy. These frames, these opal rounds, I'm hoping. So here's a little, a little secret. I'm hoping that these will be in stock enough that these will be my free gift with purchase in May. Either my free gift with purchase or they may be my special gift because I do an extra added gift for some levels if you buy on catalog kickoff day, the third, fourth, or fifth. So there'll be one or the other as long as there's not any supply issue. And the bad thing is, is I make my graphics. Like I'm going to make my graphics tomorrow when I'm at the waiting room with my dad while he's getting his pacemaker put in. So, you know, I go to all that work to make the graphics and if they're not in stock, I have to change it. But they don't tell us stock issues until the day of, um, or like the day before catalog kickoff. So there you go. I hope you have enjoyed this series of my camp projects. Normally, normally you see them. Here's what you want to know my, how it usually works is normally camp comes and I go back through the videos that I posted over the months since camps happened and I pull from those. But what happened this time was uh, I did lots of catalog preview stuff that they couldn't buy yet. So I didn't really have a whole lot to pull from. So I just came up with all new stuff the day before camp. And so I hadn't filmed any of it. So you guys got to see it in reverse this time. Everybody have a great day and I will catch you back here later. Bye.